Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 4 of this RMS Titanic tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the C-Deck uh, superstructure. The C-Deck is the one we built in part 3. And also the B-Deck promenade and some of the superstructure that goes with that. So we've got a bit to do, but mainly it's sort of placements of windows and pillars. So it's going to be an awkward video really, but we shall get on with it. Anyway, let's fly over to the front of the C-Deck section that we built previously, which is this deck here. We're going to go to the front corner of the deck here, so I'm working on the left hand side but it'll be the same on the other side as well, so on this is the left side, right side over there, so I'll work from the left, so from this corner here we're going to count back to the seventh block, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we add a pillar of two blocks, leave a three block gap and then add uh, another pillar, and then another three block gap and then another pillar so you've got three pillars like that, and then we leave a single block gap, and then add a block there, and then after that a pillar, like that. And then after that another pillar straight afterwards like that. So you've got three three pillars and the curved section there. So you can see in the distance on the prototype, the, uh, if the forward opening section there, just where the crosshairs is, uh, that section there. So that's what we're working on here. We've just done that section, so now we're working on the windows. Now the window placement I've got here is not strictly accurate to the real ship. This is sort of placed uh, in a pattern, but not the same as the real ship. So if you've got deck plans and things like that, you can go ahead and correct this later on. Um, so it's up to you what you want to do. But anyway, if you're going to copy me, then by all means do so. Right, so what we're going to do, after those two pillars there, we're going to put uh, two windows. We put a window, which is two blocks high there, and then leave a gap and then add another window like that and then fill in the gap there and then we add a three block gap so one two three there win white and then we add another pair of windows with a gap between like so, so you've got two pairs of windows like that and then we add uh, a three block gap so one two three and double that in height so there we go that's the first two windows like so and now what we're going to do after that we're going to add a four uh, a group of four windows so one two, three, four like that. So you've got four windows and then we add the pillars in between. All right, so after that now uh, we're going to go into groups of twos, four, uh, a group of four twos and then a group of f four windows. This is quite confusing but if you can see in the distance you can see you've got a pair of windows, pair of windows, pair of windows, pair of windows and then four. And then another pair of windows, pair of windows, pair of windows, pair of windows, four. So it's four groups of two windows and then one group of four windows. This is very confusing, I know, but bear with me on this one. Anyway, so after that, that group of four, we add another three spacer like that. And then we add the first of four pairs. So we add one pair like that, three block gap, pair number two, three block gap, pair number three, then three block gap. And then pair number four like that. So you've got the four pairs of windows. Uh, each window is split by two or one block, and then each pair is split by three. So it's confusing. I know, but hey ho, there we go. Anyway, that is the first group of four pairs like that. And then at the end, you want the next group of or next spacer like that. So another space three like that. And then the next group of four windows. So we go one, two, three four and then we add the three spacer afterwards and fill in the gaps in between as well. Now the groups of four pairs of windows, the ones we just built here, there should be six groups of those, so six groups of four pairs. So that's the first group, we're just working on the second group now, so I'll just go down now and work on the second set, so it's one pair, three block gap, two pair, three block gap, three pair, four block gap, three block gap, sorry, and then four pair, like so. And then we add the spaces in between. Like I said, this is not accurate to the real ship, but it's something. So that's, that's that group of uh, four pairs there. And then we, at the end, we add another three spacer there. And then we add another group of four windows. So four like that, and then a three spacer afterwards. And then the gaps in between. There we go, that's that section does. So we're getting along. Now yeah, moving along quite nicely. So that was uh, group number two, and that's group two of the pairs. So we're going pair number, uh, or set number three. So we go pair number one, one pair, 
three block gap, two pair, three block gap, three pair, three block gap, four pair. And there we go. And then we add the spaces in between. And there we go. So that's one, two, three, four pairs. So that's that's the group number three. And then after that we add the spacer again. And then the group of four windows. So we go one, two, three, four. And then the three spacer afterwards. And then fill in the gaps in between. And then we move on to is it group number four, isn't it? I just double check that. So there's one, two, three. And yeah, right, so we're moving on to group of four or group four of the pairs of windows, right? So now we work on the next set. So it's one pair, three block space, two pair, three block gap, three pair, three block gap, four pair. And they fill in the spaces in between. I'm getting a huge amount of lag for some reason as well. I don't know what's going on. Right, so that's the four pairs all done like that. So that's that little job done. So after the la that uh, pair, we add the three spacer, and then we add the four windows again. Two, three, four, and then the three space there. Two gap fill in there. Right, so that's that one. They're on to group five of the pairs of windows. So we go for number one pair, three block space, two pair, three block space three pair three block space and four pair and then fill in the gaps again there we go so that's the group of five I think and yet we're getting to the end so after that last group that last pair we add the three spacer again and then we add the four windows one two three and four Four, and then we add the three space afterwards. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then fill in the gaps. So there we go. And now we should be on to the last group of the pairs of windows. So we add the last group of, of four pairs. So go one pair, three block space, two pair, three block space, three pair, three block space, four pair, and fill in the gaps. like so, so that's that section done and then after that last pair we add another spacer of three like so and then we add instead of four windows we add three so we add one two and three and fill in the gaps after it and then after that last window just going to check my notes uh, let me add two pillars so a pillar there and then a pillar there so it's basically a two space like that and then we want to leave a trying to work this out actually. Uh one block there. So we add so this is a second if you look where the crosshairs are in the centre, you've got another opening section of the sort of open promenade there. So this is what this section is. So you've got a pillar there, pillar there, and then a single block. And then a two block gap and then a pillar like that. And then we want uh one, two, three, four more pillars. So a three block gap, pillar, three block gap, pillar, three block gap pillar the three block gap and a final pillar and I put a marker there so that I've got everything lined up so that's what that red block is about so I can remove that now so that sort of signifies everything is in the right place so you've got the five pillars one two three four five and uh, this section here which is two pillars and a single block two block gap pillar three block gap pillar three block gap pillar three block gap pillar three block gap pillar and then after that pillar on this straight line here you should have 13 blocks spare so you should have one block there to the end of the line there which is 13 as it says at the bottom of that pink sentence or the end of the bottom pink sentence it's 13 blocks going to the end of that section there so that is absolutely fine so that's that section all done and then on top of that last pillar I want to add a block there and build a line of blocks all the way along the top of all the pillars and windows all the way to the front pillars and this is going to be one of those time consuming jobs but it has to be done so 
do this as quick as I can, just build a line across the top all the way forward to the very front pillar that we started with and then we can move on to the next section or I can do a, a copy paste to the other side because it's the same on this side as it is on the other side so um, you go ahead and work on the other side and I shall just cheat and copy paste it because I can but just getting there first are we nearly at the end? I think we are I'm not going to turn around because I get lost Ah, there we are, right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and there we are, so there you go, you've got the line that goes right across the top of the windows, and right up to that end pillar, or the front pillar there, so that's that section all done, and uh, it should look something like that, it looks a bit weird at the moment, but when it's all uh, finished up later on, it'll be fine, so I'm just going to go to the back end and copy it, flip it, and then paste it, and then we'll uh, have half the job, well, most of the job done. So like I say, it's the same on both sides, hence why I'm copying and pasting it. So I'll copy from the bottom, not remove it, I should have to copy it. I should copy from there to the front, then copy it, and then paste it on the other side. And that'll be half that job done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, so to there, stand on the corner block, and go copy. And then run over to the other side. Blonk. Oop, lag that. Right, there we are. And then we go paste. There we go. That's all sorted. And I just make sure that's in the right place. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's on the seventh block. That's fine. So, there we go. That's both sides done. And it should look something like that. Right, so now I'm going to check my notes and work out what to do next. So, bear with me a second. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now is go down to the front wall of the uh, deck we built uh, in part three. So we're now at the front section again. Hit the bow over there. So we've got this front wall here. I'm going to find the centre block, which I do not know which it is. So uh, bear with me, I've got to find out which one's the centre. So I'm going to measure its width and then find the centre. So bear with me. So that's 49. What's that for 49? I can't remember. 24 and uh, so 24. Uh, 24 there. So this one here must be the center block. So I just measure the other side, make sure it's the same. And yeah, that's fine. So that's 24, 24. <laughs> so I couldn't remember how to add up. But anyway, that's the center block of this front wall. And then what we're going to do is on the wood, leave a four block gap. So one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, we start building. So you've got a four block gap between the front wall and this next section here. So you can see one, two, three, four gap. So this front wall here, we're going to build it uh, 37 blocks wide. So what's that? That's 18 either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'll just measure that to make sure that is 18. 18 up to there, that's fine, and the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'll measure that again, I don't know. I'll make, I'll make sure it's 37 anyway, so up to there. Yep, that's 37. So that's that point. I'm just going to put another red block in the centre, so I know that is the centre there. So that's what that's all about. And I can get rid of this one here and replace that with the white one. There we go, so that's, that's the front wall, which is 37 long, or wide. And then for the sides, we are going to add, the uh, sides are 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 5 out, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So you've got the uh, side walls going around like that. So I did the same the other side, side walls are 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So that's that section done like that. Uh, and then for the side walls, side walls and the wall there, we're going to increase to four high. So this this wall here will increase it to four high, like so. And then the side walls increase that to four high. Like so, so that's four high there. And I do the same the other side, increase it all to four high. And 
do the same down this one. Like so, so that's those two sections done like that. And then the front wall, uh, we'll increase that to six higher. So two, three, four, five, six. Same with this point here. Add it to six high there. And I just build it all the way across six high. So this wall increased to six high. So set quartz like so. And there we go. That's the front wall increased to six blocks high. You can see it's two blocks higher than the rest. And that's how it should look like that. Right, so I go back to the left hand side because I'm always working on the left, don't know why. But the top three sections, or the top three rows of this front wall are going to be built outwards. So as you go from the top one, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven out. So that it overhangs this section here by one block. So you can see like that. So it's seven, seven out, overhanging by one. And we do the same in the row below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So this is the creation of the overhanging uh, promenade deck. So that's what this section is going to be. So I do the same on the other side, overhang by one block, build out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So you've got the uh, front section like that. Right, so now it's sort of uh, being given the identity of Titanic now because this ship was quite uh, not unique with this design, but or the Olympic class anyway. But uh, it's very sort of very familiar with, well, people know it anyway. Right, so what we're going to do now is this row of three that we just extended out. We're going to build it all the way along the side now. So I, I do the bottom row first. So from the bottom, we're just going to build all along the side of what we built earlier on top of all the windows. So we're just going to build all the way along side that we've already done so building up to the same length as the one on top of the windows so just get out of the fire end oh, hang on. this is basically creating the overhanging shelf of the uh, promenade deck and we'll eventually get there we're nearly there not far. Do, 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 do. Frame rate keeps going up and down as well. Apologies if the frame rate is dropping. Just hope the audio doesn't go out of sync. Because then it will make me look stupid. Alright, so there we go. There we are at the end of that uh, last pillar there. So you got the uh, the line we built earlier on top of the windows is the same length as the one we just built there. But this line here we just built this very second, it get extended by one block like that. So that overhangs by one block like that. So it's overhanging the side by one, and overhanging the pillar back by one. And then this line we just built here, we're going to increase that to three high, like the front wall. So increase it to three high, all the way down the side. So build it to three high. <sighs> the fun jobs. Do, 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 do. Down to the front end. There, you set quartz. And there we go, that's that section all increased in height, so that's three high. And you've also got the overhanging promenade, or the overhang of the promenade deck, which will go on shortly. Um, so that's that section there. So I'm just going to fly over to the other side and do the same. I'll do this quickly because I can use weld edit for this section. So top down to the other end and just use weld edits just to uh, get it out of the way. Right, so down to the end there, and use that and set quartz again, and there we go, that's that section done, and then we extend it by one there, so that's overhanging by one there. So you've got both sides done now, the overhang, and just compare it to the other side, the, uh, the other ship. Looks fine. Right, so that's that section all done there, right. Right, before I start drooling again, I don't know what's going on. Right, uh, I'm going to check my notes and we shall move on again. So bear with me a second. Right, so the next job we're going to do is work on the left hand side again. So at the left hand side at the back of the uh, overhang here, so at the back of the ship. And uh, from the bottom block here, this bottom row here, we're going to build across seven. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then down three. One, two, three, like that. Connect to the deck. And then double that in height by adding another block like so. So you've got two, two rows like that, 
going across seven and then down three. The top line we're not going to bother because that could be that well that will be handrail. So the um, all that bit there will be handrail. So don't worry about that. All right. So the next job we're going to build the inside walls for this section. So from this line here we're going to build. 21 forward, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then across 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So that's the inside walls, and then it increased them to uh, 4 high, so 2, 3, 4, like that. So 4 high all the way around, and then <laughs> weld it at this side. And there we go, that's that inside wall done. Like so. And then when we come to add the deck, the deck will hopefully sit on top of these walls. So we'll worry about that in a minute. So we'll do the other side first. So bottom line again of this outside section, we build in seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then down three, one, two, three, and then double it in height up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the inside walls will go twenty-one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then 5 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Increase the 4 high. And the same along the long stretch. And there we go. That's the inside walls added there. So that's that little job done there. We're not going to add the deck just yet because we've still got a bit more work to do. But uh, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I, uh, I've got to restart the server, I think, because it's lagging like hell. So I'll do that and I'll also do a bit more measuring. So I shall return in just a minute. Okay, back again. Now I'm going to work on the back end of this part of the superstructure. So we're just going to fly over again. So remember, at the back end of the ship. Uh, so this section we just built here. Actually, I'll work on the left. So the sections that we have built, so just look around them because I didn't actually do a quick fly around but this is how they look anyway so you've got the uh, open promenades here and then you've got the uh, inner walls there uh, so these inner walls you can start adding doors and windows to them I haven't got the proper layout uh, written down of how these go so if you want to uh, add the doors and windows to these things and by all means do so I'll do them at random at a later date just to sort out any issues uh, so that's that section right so from this uh, from the inner walls I've got this the pillar that we built down three and we're going to build back now five. So back along the deck, we build back five. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Just to give you an idea. So it's five back, and then inwards five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three across. One, two, three, like that. And then we're going to build forward three. One, two, three, like that. So you've got a shape like that. It's going like that. <laughs> And then after that three, you're going to build across nine, and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then put a center block to mark the center, or a color block to mark the center, and then we do the same on the other side. Cause I want to get this symmetrical. And it's the same on the other side. Build back five, one, two, three, four, five, and then in five, one, two, three, four, five, back six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then in three, one, two, three, and then. Uh, forward three, one, two, three, and then nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go. That's that section done like that. So that's them both lined up. And then we're going to increase them in height to four blocks high. So there will be five eventually, but increase them to five. Uh, cre increase them to four for now. So increase them to four this way. So I'll say that's three, and then four, and then use weld edit for the rest of it. So increase to four there, four down this side, and I suppose I could have done the copy paste but um, <laughs> I'm there now so I might as well carry on what I'm doing. So down to that side and then I'll do this bit freehand. There we go, that's that section done. So that's all increased to four high, like so. And I removed the center block, which I should not have done, so I'm gonna have to re put that back. So I put the center block back there. So there's the center block there, marking the center, right? So now what we're gonna do is from that center block, we're gonna leave a two block gap on the wood. So get the white blocks ready. So on the wood block, we we'll go one, two, 
uh, two on the wood so there's a one two gap and then on the third block we start building again so we're going to build this wall here uh, 13 wide so what's that six other sides so one two three four five five six that way one two three four five six yep that's fine and do the same the other side one two three four five six and then for the sides are going to be 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and that should line up with the back wall here I'll do the same on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 like that and then increase the height of these walls the three sides to four high so 2 3 4 and just increase them in height all the way around so four high all the way around up to that end there so there we go that's the three walls increased in height so now you've got a weird section like that right so now we're uh, going back to the left side again uh, where the walls drop in height so you got where it goes to um, four blocks high here on the back here so you've got the inside walls just there and you've got this cross beam here it goes to four blocks high so we're going to increase this wall here to five high now so this one increased to five that way, increased to five that way, and then increased to five going back along the six like that. But going across, we're going to go across this section here and then across the back wall, or onto the back wall of this section here. So we'll build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that, across like that, and then down the side of the square building we just built, like so. So now you've got sort of an overhang above you, like that sort of a tunnel way there. And we do the same on the other side, so this section here will increase to 5 height down there, and then across, and then down there, and then across there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, across there, and then down the side, like so. And then across the top, across the front, we add the, P, uh, the beam across like that, and it should look something like that. It does look a bit weird, but when it's done it will be all fine. Right, so now what we're going to do is add the two windows, the, the two big windows that go on this section. For the centre block below, uh, or centre block of this bottom section, we're just going to build straight up, like so. Add a central pillar, and then make it three wide, like so. There we go. And then the uh, the two windows, uh, we're going to make them three wide and then four blocks high. So at each end, make another pillar there and then another pillar this side like so and then we add the window so it's three wide and four blocks high three wide and four blocks high like that so there we go that's the uh, the two windows there and uh, that's how that should look they're probably a bit bigger than they should be I mean you can scale them back a bit if you want to but I just exaggerated their size so you know what I'm talking about and uh, that is pretty much it for this section so I think now uh, if all things are correct we can go ahead and add the deck so working from the back end here when we go to add the deck we can uh, go from the top line of the uh, white section and just add the, um, the wood along here so going from the two windows this is we add the uh, white blocks but when you get to the front end or back or up to the sides here, so when you get to the overhang of the promenade, the blocks, the the, the deck will be one block below. Pardon me, the top there. So you can see the, uh, the 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 double high section drops down one. So deck level is here. Still is the same as the uh, the walls, uh, the, the the two window section over there. But I just want to make sure it's uh, the deck is one block lower than the side walls because the side walls are literally walls. So that's that. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fill tool now, so I'm going to stand on this section here and use the fill tool, so you basically go from the, the two walls at the back, or the two windows at the back, sorry, all the way forward and add the deck, so I should use the fill tool fill wood by 300 and this will probably take a while because it normally does but we'll wait and see, I mean there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever if there are, then you're going to know Oh, there we go, that's the deck adding, and as you can see there, the deck is added all there, it's all filled in and looking super. So you can sort of see how it's meant to look. 
So they should, I think in the on the real ship there probably was more a bit more going on uh, corner wise, but I've sort of scaled it back to make it look a little bit more uh, neater. But uh, if you look under here now, you've got this overhanging section here, so you can go around the back of this square building and come out the other side, and then it should all look something like that. So that's a little job done there, and you've got the overhang here with these uh, open windows here, and that looks all fine. And I just fly to the forward end and make sure we've got it all sorted up there. So bear with me when I sort that. Do 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 and yep that's fine as well so we've got the overhang sorted there so that is absolutely fine and they yeah, don't look too bad do it there will be windows added to this section later on as well I, think I keep saying there will be more 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 bits to add but if I fly over to the prototype you'll see where the windows go and everything should be hunky diddly dory there so you can see you've got four windows that side four windows that side and uh, it should all be fine so basically, I could do it now. Actually, yeah, I'll go. I'll go, I'll go over and do it. So from the, uh, I work on the right-hand side, working left. So what we do on this section here, we go from a corner, we go three block gap, add a two high window, three block gap, two high window, three block gap, two high window, three block gap, two high window, like so, and then we do the same from the other side. Three block gap two high window, three block gap, two high window, three block gap, two high window, and then a three block gap, you guessed it, another pair of windows. And there we go, that's the front section done there. Um, yeah, that's a little job done. So I'm just going to ponder now whether to do the next section of superstructure because it's it's a bit more complex than I would like. Um, I did say at the beginning we'd probably do it, but actually there's a little job there I haven't done. These two blocks here have been replaced, so, damn it, wrong one. So I'll put that one back and put a white one there and a white one there. Yeah, so what I was saying is the next section of the superstructure is not symmetrical on both sides, so it is a bit more um a bit more arty farty. So I think what I'll do, I'll leave that for part five because it is like I say it's not symmetrical both sides, it gets to a bit more complexity and also it's it's higher in different sections as well. So I'll leave that for part five and I think what we'll do I'll do a jump cut and we'll add the rudder and propellers instead. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now we're going to work on the propellers and the rudder. Uh, so, what we're going to do, have a quick slurp of night vision to see what we're doing. And we're going to go down to the bottom here. So, we've got this big hole here that was left uh, at the beginning or the end of part one. So, what we're going to do now is go to the bottom at the kill zone here and just add uh, a couple of blocks that way. So, it's two or three rather. Just double checking, so it should be three across like that. And then in the gap, we just add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then the gap across the top like that. That may be adjusted in a second, but as long as we've got uh, the blocks across there and then another row of blocks as well, so it's too high basically above the keel. Like so, I'm just double checking over there. Yeah, it looks fine. And then what we want to do is in this gap here uh, against the uh, front face here we're going to add white blocks so I can measure it so one two three four five six up like that and then that well, should be five really and on that sixth block we add a red block there so it should be the sixth block up from that bottom section so it should be shaped something like that so so you've got a five block gap underneath and there should be a five black a five block gap above as well so one two three four five it was fine so there we go, and then we add the propeller on there. So we add a yellow block, or two yellow blocks, central really. I know on the real ship it didn't actually attach to the front of the prop, uh, the front of the uh, or the back of the uh, this section here, but on mine it does. All right, so for the propeller, uh, we're going to build out uh, three, one, two, three, and then three up there, and then two. So that's one prop blade like that, and then we go around this side, we go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and one, two second prop and then the third one one two three one two three one two and then down one two three get around this side one two three and one two so that's the central propeller shaped like that nothing really special but uh, there we go and then across the top here we just add a couple of blocks there like that to close the gap in like so so that's that section done there. Now for the uh, outer propellers. Now don't quote me on this one. Well don't quote me. But I'm not going to get any more shit from this. But I know the real ship had 
three bladed propellers on the outside whereas mine has four. I don't give a shit what people think. I build it in fours because it's symmetrical and everything when you build it in cube is going to look like shit anyway if you don't do it to, um, symmetrical. So bollocks to anyone who has to complain. Right, so what we're going to do now is go from the central pin of the propeller here and we're going to count back 12 blocks. So from there we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So up to that point there. And then we build out. How far do we build out? We build out seven. So we go back or out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we add the propeller on uh, this point. So we add a, a yellow block on there, like that. And then we can get rid of these blocks here. Or we'll keep the bottom one rather. Keep that one. So keep the end two. And then we build up two, two two and then one two three like that so that gives you the propeller shaft like so so it's 12 back from the central propeller pin of this of the middle propeller 12 back and then seven out and then we add the pin there and then the two 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 three there then we add another yellow block or two more yellow blocks really and then on the central one we add the propeller blade so three up three up two three out three out two three down, three down, two, and then three out, three out, and two like that. So that's the outer propeller. Once again, I'm building it in fours, so balls to anyone who complains. Right, now I'm gonna build the propeller shaft. So from the end, or the back end of the propeller, just build forward till it connects with the rest of the hull and it will blend in there. Same with the next row. And just build along to there. Same with the next row, up to there, and then the next row to there, and then the next two rows. And there we go, that's the propeller shaft done, and it should look something like that. So that's those two propellers done. Just want to do the same on the other side, but I use weld edit for this because I can't be asked to do that one again. So I shall copy from, say, there and then flip it over to the other side so bear with me a second so copy to uh, there and then we do copy uh, flip to the right and paste uh, oh fudge <laughs> okay I'll undo it I forgot that the propeller's not symmetrical is it? right so I have to do it freehand okay so what I'm going to do is go 12 back so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and go out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add our three per pin there. Remove the rest of the blocks there. Add the two, 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 and a three. And then bring the propeller shaft back to there. Same with the next rows. Yeah, I forgot the propeller <laughs> wasn't symmetrical. Um, well, it is symmetrical, just uh, not side by side. Uh, right, there we go, there's the propeller shaft done. Now, which way does the propeller have to face? It has to face. Uh, right, okay. So then we're going to build up two, or up three, sorry, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then one, two, three out, one, two, three out, one, two. Down, three, down, three, one, two. And then out, three, out, three, one, two. So there's the three propellers now in place. And they're all in the right position and facing the right way. Hopefully. All right, so, um, yeah, I think that's all okay in that. So there's no bother there. All right, so that's the propellers all done. And don't complain that they look like swastikas, they don't look anything like swastikas, so balls to that as well. Right, now for the rudder. We're going to get some uh, stone wall, which I'm going to use for hinges. Uh, where did you get the stone wall from? Oh, there it is. Stone, or oh, was it? Cobblestone wall, sorry. So you want cobblestone wall. Now from the bottom, you're going to add 14, I think. Yeah, 14 hinges. So from the bottom, we add one, and then a gap, two, 
gap 3, gap 4, gap 5, gap 6, gap 7, gap 8, gap 9, gap 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. There we go, that's the 14 hinges there like that. And as you can see on the main one over there, it's exactly the same. So 14 there. And then for the bottom of the rudder, we're going to work from the bottom. We're going to build. Uh, we're going to build four out, so, well, four back, so one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, and then two, like that. So it's four, three, two. And then up two. And then up uh, four. One, two, three, four. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have another swig. So there we go. So it's four, three, two, and then up two, up four, up eight. And then curving back in again, we're going to go uh, three. No, so we go one, two, three, and then two like that. And then we change colour. We're going to use black concrete again. So where's the concrete? Black concrete. So we, uh, so it matches the black hull. So on the top of that row of two, we add one block there. And then we want four rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then finally a row of two like that. And then the, the rudder should look something like that. So just double check it over there. Looks okay. And then what we do, we just go down and fill in the red sections. Well, I'll build the red section up to the height of the red hull. Up to uh, there. And then fill in the rest in black. So black up. There we go. There's the uh, diameter of our rudder. Like so, and then we we'll just fill in the, uh, the according or the the, the according colours. That's the words I was looking for, I think. So we'll just fill in all the colour bits. So the black's all done there, and then we we'll just fill in the red. And there we go, that's the uh, rudder all done. So that took longer than I expected, but at least that's done now. So we've got the propellers and the rudder done. So now you've got that silhouette of the stern all done. And uh, they don't look too bad. I know the uh, the hole around the central propeller should be a bit more rounded, but I just can't be... Well, I, I could probably do it, but there's time constraints, really. And, you know, it doesn't look too bad. You know, it's up to the individual, really. If you want to adjust it, you can. But I'm going to leave it as a square opening for now. So that's that. So that's that section all done. And the ship is definitely taking shape, but that's really all I'm willing to do for today. Um, so the next job, which will be uh, the promenade deck superstructure, which will be inside walls. If I go inside there, actually, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because I did say it's not symmetrical on both sides, and it's more complex than the uh, than the rest of it. So you can see the pardon me, the walls curve inwards and outwards, inwards and outwards, and then inwards again. And then you've got the narrow sections here. And then you've got windows as well, which go from this deck down here up to the through the boat deck. So it goes sort of through the sun deck above. If I just fly out the side there and go up to the next deck, you can see the tops of the windows are here. So these are the sections that need to be sort of a uh, sort of worked out properly. So I'm not going to rush into it today. I'm going to leave that for the next uh, part of this video or part of this tutorial anyway. So uh, we're getting through it anyway. So that'll be the next job. But we've got plenty done with what we have anyway. And uh, we've got the promenade deck on now anyway. So that's that little job done. As well as the rudders and propellers. So that the next job, like I said, will be the promenade deck superstructure. And probably be the boat deck as well. That will be attached. And then we can move on to the uh, more funny bits. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, that would be for the next day. Or for the next video. And we'll uh, go from there. So anyway, this is Rich. Signing off, logging off, disappearing. Um, and I shall return in part five. Yeah, so uh, bye for now.